Okay. This is Matt from Remove Malware. We're back. Uh, one carrier has installed and it has found some some infections. And if I look at one care, um, it is wanting to finish the installation. It's probably trying to connect to the internet. I'll go ahead and turn on my network card for VMware. Let it do that. Um, anyway, I've got uh, several infections here. It's uh, detected some rogue uh, anti-malware, Vundu, which is always really bad. And the other ones I'm not really too familiar with. I don't know those at all. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit clean all. And of course, it has trouble deleting Vundu because Vundu is hard to delete. And I can just sit there and keep clicking clean all. It will try to clean Vundu as best as possible. I don't expect it to, but see what happens. Uh, so far, live care or live one care is uh, pretty slow. Uh, it took about uh, five minutes just to start. And uh, it kind of reminds me of Windows Defender in a way. This is what the interface looks like. Anyway, you can see all these, these, these fake alerts that people have to deal with constantly now. And that's like uh, probably 80% of the people that come to my blog are trying to figure out how to get rid of these fake alerts. These fake alerts are just here to get you to buy a fake product and basically they're trying to steal your identity uh, so once you buy their fake fake antivirus, anti-malware, whatever they're calling it they'll have your credit card, your identity and and you're off to some other uh, criminal organization and you start seeing charges and people trying to open credit cards in your name and loans and things like that but anyway, back to one care here. Um, it looks like it's pretty much locked up. Uh, and I gotta tell you, th this virtual machine here is, is a lot of what I see with clients. They have about the same amount of infections. It's about 40 different pieces of uh, malware. This should be a snap for these uh, anti-malware products to clean. But uh, so far, uh, one care is not doing the job looks very clunky. I, at this point, wouldn't really use it uh, out in the field. I couldn't. Uh, only because uh, it just is too slow. It's not giving me any kind of uh, real response yet. I mean, if it changes, I'll change my mind. But so far, so far, nothing. So the real test will come in safe mode, and uh, I have to see if it even works in safe mode. You know, not all antivirus programs or anti-malware programs work in safe mode, which is just very crucial. So you can see how long it sits here trying to clean those uh, eight pieces of malware that we gave it, and um, it's doing really nothing else. Just that. It's basically telling me a new uh, version of Internet Explorer is available, provides anti phishing functionality, stuff I really don't care about. I just want to get the viruses off my PC. It says my protection is good. If I can just get rid of this malware pop up, we're on, we're up to date, and we can't clean anything. It's basically sitting here cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot this virtual machine, and we're going to go into safe mode. So let me go up to my virtual machine menu, and I have to go to power, reset. So inside of uh, VMware, I'll go ahead and click F8. We're going to go to safe mode. I don't want networking on because I don't want to download any new Trojans while I'm cleaning them. Safe mode with networking should always be off when you're cleaning stuff. Don't want to keep downloading new things.
I gotta tell you, I was really excited to test one character because I heard so many great things about it, but I'm pretty dis pretty disappointed with it so far. Can't clean a single thing yet. Now my uh, VMware window has kind of slipped out of focus here. Try to move it in place so we can get some of it there for you. So we're in regular safe mode right now. I'm going to log into the infected profile. Mm, looks like um, it deleted some things. Those messages are kind of common whenever you're cleaning uh, malware. So we can uh, see that we still have a uh, rogue uh, piece of anti-malware on there, a Zlob infection, as they call it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and look for OneCare. I'm going to go ahead and start OneCare. Wow. Well, look at this. Windows Live One Care cannot continue. The Live One Care service is not working or has been stopped. Try restarting your computer. That's just totally outrageous that Microsoft makes a product that does not work in their safe mode environment. So at this point, I'm done with One Care. I think it failed miserably. It didn't clean off really anything, and it does not work in safe mode. It's a complete joke. So if anyone else has uh, some opinion out there to contradict me, please do. Or if you can get it to work in safe mode, let me know. But uh, I would not use this product out in, uh, out in my business. So anyway, that's enough for this review. I'm done with one care. Um, once again, my name is Matt. My website is remove-malware.com. Thank you. And um, the next product I'm going to review is the ever-popular... Norton Antivirus 2008. Um, I'm not a big Norton guy, but we'll see what happens. Maybe, uh, maybe it's better than OneCare. Anyway, thank you.